Hi, good morning, huh? Today's topic is DQL data query language. So this we have only select. Okay. Select is mainly used for fetch data from tables. Okay. Now we see practically. Okay. First we can use select star from table okay the table name is bank details okay by using this we can get entire table data okay Again, if we need specific columns, then we can go like this. Select, suppose, age, comma, job, comma, marital, and bank details. Here, only these specific columns will be comment output okay let's see see each job and marital status is coming as output okay okay inside this we can perform some of the arithmetic operations relation operations logical and some um, special operations first of all we go with relational operations okay for that uh, inside the relation operation we have equal to comma greater than comma less than comma greater than equal to comma less than equal to comma not equal to not equal to can also shown as like this not equal to okay let's perform few operations on this okay okay now which sorry now which job is not unknown means you can fetch the table data whose job is unknown not unknown okay job is unknown or not unknown you can get the data in both ways select star from bank details where job is equal to unknown okay here we're getting only job is equal to unknown okay and You can get the data which is job not unknown. Okay. You can get the data for job is not unknown. Okay. Like this, you can get or you can get like this also. Both are working same. 
okay remaining operations you can practice okay next go to arithmetic operations in arithmetic operations majorly addition subtraction multiplication and division okay now go we can do practically select balance into balance divided by 12 yes monthly balance okay from bank details okay here here we are getting like generate monthly balance as output okay for reference we can get, take the balance also because it is working correct or not okay now run the query see one two one four three divided by twelve is equal to one seventy eight point five eight double three. This is the monthly average balance. Okay, monthly balance. Sorry. Okay, you can practice for addition, subtraction, and multiplication. Okay. And next, the logical operators. Logical operators are nothing but and. and or okay and and or okay now now we need to get job as management and balance balance greater than thousand okay now for the above question select star from bank details where job is equal to management and means we need to satisfy the both conditions right that's why we are using and and balance greater than thousand okay let's see job is management and balance all these are greater than thousand okay now for our condition if if job as management or balance greater than 1500 okay let's try this one select star from bank details where job is equal to 
management or balance greater than 1500 okay in this in the end condition both job is called management and balance greater than 1000 need to be satisfied but in the or condition job is equal to management or balance is equal to 1500 if any one of the condition is satisfied then we will it will come to the output okay let's try this one let's see here management job is equal to management and the here both conditions satisfy both conditions satisfy also it will come into the output here see job is equal to view color but the balance greater than 1500 here one condition is satisfied and that's why it is coming as the output here only management is um satisfied 231 is not satisfied here one one condition is satisfied right? that's why it is come to the output okay this is about the logical operator okay some of the special operators are there First one is in corresponding is not in. Second one between corresponding one is not between. Okay. Third one is like corresponding one is not like. Okay. Let's try this practically. Okay. First one in. Okay. We need to get get the data for age ages fifty eight comma forty seven comma. 35 okay before using in we can use for our condition okay select star from bank details where a is equal to 58 or a is equal to 47 or a is equal to 35 okay for this also we are getting the same output okay see here 58 47 35 58 58 48 47 35 47 okay let's see by using in stellar star from bank details where he is in 58 comma 47 comma 35 okay see we are getting the same output right then what is the difference between this thing and this one in in we are getting a high performance it is used to pick the values one by one from the list of the values we can also use in operator in place of our operator when we are retrieving multiple values from the same column okay in this case in operator performs very high performance too when compared to the our operator okay you can understand right and also the corresponding value select star from bank details Where is not in fifty eight comma forty seven comma thirty five? Okay, here except fifty eight forty seven thirty five, we are getting remaining values. Okay, and next between. Here for between get the values 
with the data. Where sell, uh, where balance between thousand and two thousand. Okay, for the select star from bank details where B balance between thousand and two thousand. Okay. Sorry. See here, balance is between 1000 and 2000 only. 1506, 1291, 1205, 1937, 191270. These are all between 1000 and 2000. Okay. Now, let's see for inverse case. See, greater than we are getting greater than 2000 or less than 1000. See, 2143, 29, 21, 231, 4, 447, 2. All are getting below 1000 and greater than 2000. Okay, you understand that between operator, right? And next, you go for like operator. Like operator is used to retrieve data from database based on the specific pattern. Okay. In relational database, like uh, like operator performance is very high compared to the predefined functions, predefined searching functions. Okay. Like operators are percentage. Second one is underscore. Okay. Here percentage means string or group of characters. Okay. Here underscore means a single character. Okay. Uh, let us discuss in practical oriented. Okay. Here, if we want to retrieve data from the table where job that is starting with. Yes. Okay. For this, we can select star from bank details where job like starting with yes, right? Yes. And we can have more than one character, right? For this, you can give star. See, starting directory is yes. We are getting all records which have starting directory is yes. Okay. And we can give ending letter also yes by using this one. Okay, see here ending letter also, yes. Okay. Now we can give in a job if any letter contains yes, in any word contain yes, then it will be return the output. Okay, see the self employed. 
at any place we have s it will become as the output okay next um Okay, now the second letter is he retrieve data. Uh, where job second letter is E. Okay. For this, select star from bank details where job like underscore E in percentage. Okay. See now we are getting which is second letter is E. e for all these things, second letter is E. Okay. And also let's try if second letter is ring for T or not. Is there any job? See no job is there. Okay. These are the like of uh, operators, and then in tomorrow's class, we will discuss about functions where there are group functions. Okay, nest number functions. Okay, and there are character functions. And also date functions. Okay, these are our predefined functions. Okay, you can understand, right? These are our predefined functions. Okay, that's it from my end. Thank you guys.